That's Harakiri. He says, thank you for putting me on your favorite tracks of February. Here's a full album I'm so proud of. If you're proud of it, I'm excited to check this out. Here's the thing, okay? It's not just that song. See, I liked that song that was sent in enough to actually start listening to that project while I was doing other stuff, and I was really enjoying it. So that, you know, I've listened to, like, the first four tracks of that six-hour album. Um, but apparently this is a different album. And let me tell you right now, okay? There's a reason that I was listening. Oh, come on. Please tell me this is on the fucking... On Spotify, you're gonna drive me crazy. Oh no, it's not on Spotify. No, but it's okay. We manage. Listen, Paint Scratcher, okay? An artist who has some really interesting textures and ideas. I've enjoyed the music they've sent in enough to, again, listen on my own. You don't even understand. I listen, this, this stream is planned to be about like 16 hours long. And I still managed to listen to this shit offline, okay? So I have no doubt that I'm going to get some at least decent enjoyment out of this. Uh, thank you for putting me in your favorite tracks. Here's a full album. Here we go. I love Paint Scratcher. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Even Kate. Wait a second. Have you sent me a song off of this? I must. You must have. Because I gave it a like. I think I even said I want to return to this at some point. I even forgot that this album existed. But I gave it a like. That means I wanted to return to it at some point. Bro, that's what I'm saying. They submitted on High Mind last time I was uh I was on the screen. Yeah, yeah. So this is hope. An hour and forty two minutes, and the best part is, you get to vibe. We get to vibe. We can talk about the music, but it's not like this is the break that I've been hoping for and waiting for. You don't even know. Like I have such a good feeling about this album. First song, Wipe of Blood and Sweat. Between this and your request. Just checking. There's a lot of requests. Hey, where even is your request? Oh. No albums um, after this. Oh, okay. See, here's what I'm saying. All right, Clifford, already getting a feeling of what we're needing. Texture! Paint Scratcher knows and loves texture. That's all I need. That's all I ever want. That's all I ever ask for. Texture! That's what makes ambient fun. That's what makes that atmosphere real. That's what makes it scratch the brain. That's what I'm saying. Loving this. Already.
already. But what? It's over? It's abrupt, but I don't mind it. It does feel like it's kind of just changing worlds, given a quick idea. Good. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, I just hit it. The mic's so hard. I'm sorry if I blasted anyone's ears out. Um, Jesus, is there a setting to fix that? Sorry. You good? You guys good? Oh, my God. I didn't do anything? Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Get the shit out of me. I saw the audio peak. All right, you hurt my ears? No noise here? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Maybe it was just very low end because I smacked the mic. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, good start. Love it. Brains getting scratched. Um, yeah, it's like eight, nine-ish. This, this is my shit. Probably an eight. Because um, I do feel like it could have even extended past that. Daffodil. long okay so uh i'm not gonna wait till the end to talk about it um you know oh wow i just saw the album cover i kind of a mat wait i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't even remember what the song cover was i closed my eyes it was literally something like this i visualized a black and white or no just a white room like a big empty white room but like you know like uh, black patterns kind of in a circular motion being made on the floor of this room and there's something very visceral about it 
there's kind of just like the sound itself because it is just specifically texture, very loose, you know, in the background sense and whatnot that just sort of echo away. Um, it actually took me there. And then seeing this picture kind of blew my mind a little bit. You actually managed to capture whatever the hell this is in terms of sound. Yeah, but all like Using big boy brains right now. I appreciate all you prestigious losers, all you nerds in chat. Oh, dang. The music like this to me, I don't get bored of this though, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it helps again that there's, feels like I'm being spoken to in a musical language, again, in this way that feels very black and white. You have an extreme sense of rhythm and I mean like I don't know man like like you have to have a strong setup of sounds to improvise something like this like it's not something you could just sit down and like be like yeah let me put in a couple of plugins like I don't know out of ratings all the songs I recommend this month nah I don't want to do that then it becomes a comparison and a competition and that nah. you 
you at? Yeah, it's very long, yeah. That being said, we'll, we'll take off two, uh, two hours off the queue because this album is two hours. Improvisational artist too. Someone in chat made this? Yes. <laughs> Do you pay to dress streams every day? Nah, twice a week. Tuesday and Saturday. Oh, Cluster, yeah. Oh, I need to check out that whole album. That that one song I've been, like, had stuck in my head for quite a while. I know, right? I should have a congratulations, you no longer work at McDonald's command. Yeah, because usually I stream twice a week, but it ends up going into the next day. So it's like four times a week. What's up, lad? Do you like a record label accepting your demo type thing? Do like a record label? Wait. Like signing them, that would be so funny. I should. I'm gonna write that down. That's a great idea. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Staying to one day at a time. I love how long these tracks are. They take a lot of time to breathe. Yeah, the first one's like a decent intro, and this one, like you're saying, is like, um. What's nice about a song that does feel like liminal space is it's allowed to, you know, blast into. Like, like it works better the longer it is, you know what I mean? Just like me. You got fired from your job for accepting a three dollar tip? Wow. I'm sorry for that, Jimmy.
again, I love how it just sort of concludes like that with the same like heavy bass hits before going into a completely different st uh, style and sound. Um, a lot of people sometimes feel like everything needs to connect, uh, but I feel like it results in songs feeling inconclusive. Uh, so I actually very much appreciate strong, like jolting changes. It really makes it feel like the ideas stand on their own and they're allowed to like be in their own spaces and their own boxes uh, in a way. Um, I mean, I love that. I, I think it's amazing. Like, I think it's just such a wonderfully liminal space. Uh, again, so, sorry to steal Clifford's words. Clifford called it liminal, but I just love that word for this. Um, again, looks so much like this. Um, the the color, like again, the, the colorless feel, it, it results, it almost feels like um, one of those limits you put for yourself to where you now have to focus on stuff like texture. You know what I mean? You have to pay more attention and care more about texture um, because of the lack of color throughout it um, in order to maintain your attention for 14 minutes, which I think you did successfully. So, um, yeah, this, this is great. Absolutely amazing. G36C. Yeah, those 14 minutes. Negative space, there you go, that's... Yeah, working in a negative space is a good way of putting it too. For me, I feel like this is a forced abrasive ascension, which is really hard to pull off, especially in an improvisational space. favorite. 
harshest critic. I really like this one a lot. This is a fantastic metalcore project, an emo violence uh, album for sure. So the reason I like this song so much is for me, it really feels like there is such a strong punch. These drums, amazing foundation, as it feels like almost with every single one of these loops showing up, it's like something being put on an assembly line, rushing through and like continuously putting objects or like moving it from one side to another and letting it run again, which I feel like is just like a very vivid picture in my mind. It, it feels like I can hear your assembly of the music and like the thought process behind it. I think this is something to be super proud of. I mean, here's the thing. I'll rate the song now. I think it's a nine. I think it's great. Uh, Seb, thank you so much for the five gifted. So, yeah, I, I think this song is fantastic. Like, I, I again, I don't think there's any reason to, like, yeah, I, I, I like what it goes for a lot. Typing some notes about the album.
I like that last sentence. Yeah, it's like a sense of mystery, you know what I mean? Comments like these are really inspirational to me. I love this. Stuff like this is like... It helps me... Like, I told you earlier how, like, I lost the ability to, like, visualize stuff with listening a while ago. Like, I'm getting emotional. Like, shit like that definitely helps me. I'm just yawning or both. I love men. Well, I don't know. Okay. It does feel very sci-fi, though. Yeah, it's a great idea, Sea Canary. song got even better by the end of it yeah it, it to me um there is a very clear pattern with a lot of these songs with what's going on with samples being clicked and whatnot um and i here's the thing it actually works here because it feels like with every time you throw in a new drum loop you throw in a new sample uh, i wrote it down like this i said it's like someone using their fingertips to move mountains these sounds are gigantic they are impactful and they're everything to this song. They speak the language of the track. So it doesn't matter sometimes that it feels like, oh, I'm just sort of listening to someone clicking a button to like paste a sample in. Like, because it feels more like somebody really using tools to just build something incredible in front of your eyes. Um, in other words, you're doing great. <laughs> you're doing good. Left in the river, bloated, battered, bruised.
Gary, do you listen to your own music? Like, like, do you make it as, like, and then, like, return to it or put it on, like, while you're doing stuff? Yes? I kind of figured, like, honestly. I'm just gonna say, you can tell when somebody likes a certain sound or style and of music and they want to make that themselves for themselves. Um, like, I get that out of this. As stupid as it may sound, I do the same with my uh, bullshit parody music. Um, yeah, I, 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 I get it. the mistakes see you hear mistakes i don't hear mistakes like maybe i'll hear something kind of a little bit off but what the kind of music you're making here is allowed to be chaotic like in the way that this is Another five gifted. Damn, thank you. Am I seeing that right? The next song is like 20 minutes. Um, I like that one a lot. Here's the thing. Anytime that I fell out of that song, I was brought back into it just due to how I feel like the bass was just revving up so heavy, uh, heavily uh, that it really just took up enough space for me to be like, holy shit, like this is huge. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's another fantastic track. I, I mean, this shit right now is just, I'll be honest, all winners. Um, is electrifying. Uh, I think that's interesting. It stands out on its own. Um, next song, Side Effects. This, this is a big boy. Big boy song.
another thing that's important to note is I actually turned down the volume. Something that kind of sucks ass and you were enjoying it while it was loud, you'll stop enjoying it as much when it's quieter. I don't feel that about this. Like, it's, it's still very full.
to me like burning of videotape footage. Like the flickering of it. The feeling of it. The emotion I heard you describe about it.
you guys are so cool. You wonder why I'm able to do this for so long? This community is unbelievable. We got 250 people here listening to a drone song together for 20 minutes, talking about what we're imagining. Well, I'm not. Five out of ten, boring. I got mindless self-indulgence brain rot. Feels unfathomably large. Yeah, I'll explain how I feel. This is like we're at the end. Okay, for me, um, I feel like this song is like the equivalent, uh, the equivalency of watching. The color yellow turn into the color green. Um, basically over 20 minutes. There is very small but extremely distinctive changes that happen throughout the texture of this song that I think keep it interesting. At first, it is a little stagnant. It's a little bit like uh, like like choppy and whatnot, but I think it actually kind of finds its own comfort. Now, I, I, I find it interesting that you decided for this song to specifically tell me about uh, a lot, like basically... The, the tough events that inspired this kind of music and the emptiness throughout it. Because this song, uh, through a lot of the subtlety... Uh, I'm just kidding, you guys. It's fucking one... It's one note, the whole song. It's trash. Welcome aboard. Let me be the first to say congratulations. You've recently... Come on, get out of your pretentious pants here, okay? But if I am going to wear the pretentious pants, I actually felt, uh, for, for, okay, so for me personally, I was processing thoughts. Like, the feeling of change throughout this song was very helpful for me to think about real world stuff and just try to process it and kind of be in my own head a little bit. Um, yeah, that is, for me personally, a sign of listening to something truly great. Now, man, the problem is though, I don't want to look like a pretentious asshole because I think that like this long ambient song is great, but I really do give it a nine. It's good. Like, I don't know. It's good. <laughs> oh, man. Feels, uh, some, yeah, it feels very cleansing. You know what I mean? Again, um, enough, enough happens for me to, to make it work. All right. Next song after side effects Get Pumping. Probably going to get back into something a little bit more uh, high energy, I guess. Good sign. Uh, I totally see your point. My own brain did the opposite. Turned me away from everything we perceived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's because that's sort of what my brain... Wait, what? Oh, I closed the chapters on accident. Kind of just how my brain processes stuff like this, honestly. So. You ever heard? Oh, yeah? I get it. This album's called Hope because I feel like the listener is hoping that something interesting is going to happen. But the thing is, it never does. You know? that. It, so it just, it's hope and disappointment throughout the entirety of it. Is this your producer tag? Like, you don't want people stealing your beat? You're just saying, that's your Akami over the song? You know?
you know, it was like an hour in and it was like, whoa, the time just flew by, it was so great. I didn't even realize, you know. So, yeah, let's get the same feeling here. slow song immediately after the ambient and the free time it's just bad pacing i don't like this song um and i actually kind of disagree i think that this is easily the worst song um honestly kind of feels like it could land on just any old drum and bass style album um really generic in my opinion from what this album has been uh delivering and i think the sample is annoying that's a shrug um, especially after following something that I think is so emotionally potent as the ambient song, it feels rather like a really weird emotional switch up that just doesn't do justice. Uh, almost like a just kidding guys, like we're back at it kind of song, which I just don't think this album needed um, as it just kind of feels weirdly fake. Watching these streams is a great way to listen to music. I usually get bored listening to music, uh, long music. Yeah, well, what's nice is, again, you could do, put the streams on and do something else in the background, you know? I, I feel like I've started to understand a lot of people do that. It's one of the reasons I've stopped fucking around with sound bites as much. Especially when it starts to get late, you know what I mean? Because um, it's like, yeah, we could have fun and screw around in the beginning, but then it's like, yeah, late night vibes, you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. Thank you for the stream. I've been watching it all day, and I've been loving it. Of course, we got another one uh, happening Tuesday as well. So uh, if you're liking what you're seeing here, make sure to show up there. Uh, we might have another stream, uh, stream on Monday, but it won't be a paid reaction stream, and we'll we'll see. Anyways, I was playing while listening along, but I got angry, so I stopped. Yeah. Next song, Unknown. These streams make me forget about my ex. Oh. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that, you know, that she ran to me after everything.
I think it is very obvious because uh, you even explained your influences. You can very clearly hear it from like the stuff that you've sent me in, what inspires your sound. Um, but I think the way that you've pulled things together on this album feels unmistakably like you. Um, I think that it was a really good idea to do this imp like an improvisational style because I feel like what's happening is you're pulling from your own emotions in a lot of your decisions. Um, and they actually resonate as that. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's cool. Like, experimental and they just completely go off the deep end with it but you're right like yeah you're so right with that <laughs> to make sounds like these tracks i mean yeah like uh you know like their influences is it if you're in then i'm out that album um you know the silent hill soundtrack i think of artists like autecker with their live sets for me personally is something that i would go to as well for like this kind of style and sound See Dune too. Oh, don't. Uh oh. Look, I know it's a vibe. 
vibe right now, but I gotta rap like I was high right now. I be on the beat, and if you asking how, cause this is ambient shit. They be like, wow, I be dropping bars since I was a kid. You be dropping bars in the showers and shit, yeah, yeah. But while you in prison, I be making albums like that prison album from the Pink Floor. That means a classic, yeah. And your girlfriend, she wanna taste of my assets, yeah. Hey, you want to make the first ever drone rap album with me, uh, Harakiri? Since it's the first ever, it can be the best, because no one's done it before. Like these abrasive stops as i again they they feel like um here's the thing a lot of these songs feel like they could be infinite and when you kind of just stop things in the middle and move on to the next idea um yeah it, it feels like just moving on to the next room to view the next infinite space um the daughters of dark the, yeah the daughter of darkness um album that that does the same thing and it has a similar effect and I think that it works really well there, and I think it works really well here. Um, overall, yeah, I, I'll say Smiley Ball for now. I'm kind of in between 8 or 9. Uh, overall, I do feel like this is a massive return to form and another extremely engaging song. Uh, making me glad that this Get Pumping track is so short. <laughs> I, I do feel like the vibe on that one is so different from everything else. Kicked out to the concrete. <laughs> people have been big spenders an hour into the stream there was the longest queue i've ever had which was eight hours of music. now i remind you it is nine dollars a minute there was eight hours of music Probably putting it work. 
I love what I'm doing. I've been trying to, you know, like, do these videos every month, show you that I care. You know what I mean? Because um, I don't know. Ever since I stopped doing that, I mean, you guys have 
and hopefully seen it, like, the community has been so much better. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just getting old, but I'm enjoying the intellectual conversation a lot. Yeah, like, the monthly recap video, even the one I just put out, is, like, so positive about so much stuff. It really is like a celebration of the month, you know? Keep impact, yeah. They like, always be monthly? There's too few albums, wait, not wait. <laughs> There's too few albums. <laughs> That's definitely not my uh, concern right now. I got sent in nine albums this stream, which is probably more than I've ever been sent in. Maybe it's been top before, but like, yeah, too few albums. That's, uh, yeah, that, that's not on my mind right now. Is this, it's uh, drum and bass name. Yeah, exactly. And these, um, I don't know, it's like, um, the recap videos, I mean, again, it's like they might not exceed, like, get like 600,000 views or whatever, but the people who watch them get something real out of it, you know? So it's about it. Dude, this song is fucking sick. One of the sickest ones so far, this far into the album. I think that, again, there's like some really interesting play with these samples showing up that really just sort of jolts uh, the feeling, keeping it just exciting. Uh, this was a fucking great song. I love this. I love that sharp, high-pitched sound as well, just adding so much to the texture. Like, shit, man, it's so good. Like, actually so good. Sucks I miss so much? It's okay. I mean, again, you see the album title here? You, you feel like you missed out? Go listen to the album yourself, you know? Get, get some experience, uh, you know, on your own. with it. And that's not an insult either. Uh, yeah, even in the short time I've uh, been around, it feels like these streams have... Um, been often more people sending in good or interesting stuff yeah yeah, yeah. that's the thing though it's like um i don't know like like you see today like we got three albums in a row that were like all great block party uh what was it block party yeah we got the billy joel album and the death album you know what i mean like these are albums that are like like this this, this ain't no small shit you know what i mean like this that's like really big prestigious names you know what i mean because people are interested on in my opinion on these albums um Someone sent in horse fucker three times. I don't think they did. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, liking what I'm hearing. Love that song so much. Seriously, one of the best here. Gives you confidence that you'll never run out of music before you die. Oh, yeah. Because I've been doing this seven years. You know what I mean? It's the last thing on my mind is that we're going to run out of music. Only you can help yourself. Ooh. The sound here is crazy. No, 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 no,
I can see that. Yeah, that's the closing track, right? Yeah, the drums kind of work as an electricity, you know what I mean? Like the uh, consistent like jolts and near unpredictability of something like a electricity of a pan. Shit, so thank you for that. Thank you for the sound of so much. Holy shit. Favorite song so far? It's pretty, pretty damn fantastic. Okay, you say it's a direct ripoff, but. I mean, I hear similar ideas, but it's a whole different context, you know what I mean? Do you ever do three request streams? 
That's funny. That's a good one. Uh, that's really funny. I can come up. Damn. Free request streams go to Highline, alright? This part, this song is fucking amazing and it feels like the tension is just going on throughout the entirety of it. Yeah, I'm shocked at how great this album is. Like, it really feels like an amazing experience. You, you really managed to pull something together here um, that is... Again, distinctly you and emotionally charged. And wait, I'm, I'm even... God, I'm choking up a little bit. Whoa. And got to pull back the tears. I hate when music does this, when it, like, inspires me and shit. Ugh. God, go away. Anyways, uh, yeah, red headphones. Uh, but if it wasn't red headphones... Yeah. How about $1 a minute request, but you could skip anything? Well, then I'd just skip everything and take the money and run. We've done one bullshit stream once. It was, oh man, this was such a crazy stream. I made sure to let people know in the title, this is a scam stream. That's the first thing it said. It is a paid reaction stream. It's half off. But if you paid a certain amount in a super chat, you could spin a wheel. And there was a chance to skip the request entirely, along with like some other stuff. It was insane. Like a total shit show. Yeah, it was a Wheel of Scam request stream. Um, so it felt so bad, though. <laughs> what a horrible, horrible feeling that stream was. Yeah, this song is amazing. Uh, final song here, Open Arms. Apparently it's going to be very loud, and it's also like 20 minutes. background music for it you know so it's not just like entirely one or another you know what I mean I feel like a downfall of a lot of channels is they'll just change too drastically like if I just was like randomly gaming on this channel I, I don't think it would be a good idea
so it's, yeah, yeah, we're always scamming people with crazy prices. Albums. I like albums that I feel like you're trying to rest for your Adderall hasn't worn off yet, bro. I feel bad. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. I'll be right back. not a scam if people are getting what they pay for. That's true. They know the rules. And so do I. All right. Bum, 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 bum. How's that part, dude? Wish someone paid me $900 to listen to an album. I'm not even going to bullshit you. It's a pretty great job, especially when the albums are this good. Uh, the problem is when you get paid $1,500 to listen to Onision. Then it's not nearly as fun. Price after bank. It's like exactly, you know what you're paying for, you know what I mean? How do people even have the money to send in stuff like this? You know, I've learned that it's best not to ask questions. So, that is none of my concern. Let's go, Joe Haven. What a guy. Who's Joe Haven? Send the Bandcamp link for me, Brad. What do you need for this album? Hey, Joe Heaven. Who the hell is Joe Heaven? Streaming, bro, like, yeah. Oh my god. Get my money, honestly. Data entry, I thought. Eight hours a day while listening to music and watching murder podcasts, that's fair. And I get my money honestly too. By uh, buying and dumping Brad coin. Oh, they said I'm gay and I've never told anyone before and... Oh, we're celebrating? That's cool. It won't be taller. says best of 2023 for this album.
to hate about gay people that put well they like the same sex? I mean please stop explaining so I can have to explain this to you guys, okay? This is, this is what I do whenever there's too much positivity. I gotta ruin it somehow. Hey, gay people, then it's me who you're hating, and that's impossible. Wow. The old Brad is back. Come on. This song is fucking amazing though. Like seriously, this this is amazing. Like it's noise behind like with a amazing groove behind it. Such a strong foundation that this is built upon. Holy shit. Mind you, do you hear it? Uh, I'll wait for it again. This is a uh, artist submitted, so yeah. I think there's a good reason I gave this a like. I heard one of the songs from it. Oh, you can't see it. You won't hear this kind of music on the High Mind stream, you know, because you can only pay twenty dollars, not nine hundred. You know how it goes, you know. I don't make the rules. They're basically doing charity over there? I know, right? Pathetic. Charity? The way I see it is, if you're doing charity, how are you supposed to make money? You know what I mean? Like... Donating to the local Brad's Wallet Foundation, exactly. Yeah, no, this is such a good closer. Like, what an amazing way to put a cap on the whole experience. Like, this is larger than life. This is fucking amazing. been like 11 12 minutes in this song already some kind of flew by I feel the same way apparently the first stream you watch you have so much fun yeah, it's not usually this fun okay literally lived the whole day and you're still alive. Yep, we're 11 hours strong and we still got May to go. Yep, that's uh, Kate. Kate the Great. Hey, I'm scared, Space Ashes. I really am. Holy shit. I mean, of 
course you misspelled it, Kate. You're a raging racist. You know? There's no chance you were gonna spell it right. A raging racist. I wasn't worried that this was going to be boring. I kind of expected something really good. And I'm happy that my radar was right. But again, I think it helped that I listened to a bit of uh, Paint Scratcher's music before this. Because I had another window open in the back. Wait. Oh, shit. I tried to select this window to pause it. What the fuck? What the fuck, Brad? No, I literally... I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> what the hell? Scared the shit out of me. It's Pay Gorn, exactly. What the fuck? Himself. I think it was a Twitch tab. I think I had it running in the background. I tried selecting this window and then that shit popped up. Like I minimized it. It was like, whoop. Thank you. 
it, man. Damn, good ending. Yeah. Good ending. Holy shit. So, you said you were done. What are you doing? Give me more money. How dare you? Thank you. <laughs> shit, man. Ah, that was a good album. Here's the thing. Um, I expected a, a decent ambient experience, Pate Scratcher. Um, but honestly, in the same way with that drum and bass album that you sent me, um, there is so much more to this. And I can understand what exactly you pulled from that project, where I feel like you pulled what I pulled um, emotionally. You found inspiration in that. Uh, you took that, and you took also the emotional connections you've had with other music, and I feel like you decided... I'm going to give I'm going to basically do my best to put myself out there and do it in in and again like a similar style but I feel like you really made a name for yourself. The sound of this project is stellar. The pacing is unbelievable. It was again almost 2 hours long and I enjoyed the hell out of all of it. Besides of course the one song where I'm like okay, I don't really get this, but again, I I remind you that that little blip moment is uh 4 minutes long. It's it's easily the shortest. It's kind of just a, a fucking experiment. And I don't think that it ruins the vibe at all. I think that these long songs are so well orchestrated for being something that you say is improvised that it is... Um, yeah, this this is one of the best artist-submitted albums, if not probably the best. Um, it helps that I'm just a fucking sucker for this stuff anyways. Tim Hecker is, like, my shit. Like, I... I fall into the little details I start really getting into my own head and honestly yeah I I love this style so maybe I'm a little bit biased but um I absolutely love the hell out of this uh, I give the whole thing a nine minus this is an extremely ambitious project you should be super fucking proud of this because I think that you nailed it um let me pull together I Wrote a little... I'm going to just take my notes as a review. Uh, it's, this review probably sucks, but whatever. I'll just copy and paste it down anyways. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> it was fucking great. Um, here, I, I'll link the album of the year page for anyone who wants to leave a review for that as well. Um. It was interesting in that. You're not gonna stream scram stream idea? What was it? You charge nine dollars a minute, uh, but if you rate over five out of ten, their price is cut in half. If you, if you pay double, nah, that's terrible. Setting that up seems impossible. <laughs> oh man. If they went, yeah, yeah, you already linked it. Look at this. Hope for the wheel for the scam wheel has expired. You just send me another one on fucking Discord. It's whatever. Wow, I love that, dude. Holy shit, I love that. That was beautiful. Oh man. Please get this on Spotify. No, I agree. I agree. Uh, very happy to share this with people. Um, definitely gonna end up on the uh, end of the month, uh, pretty high up as well. Yeah. If uh, I mean, yeah, this is amazing. Probably would be like if. Hey, shit, man, I love that. You, you, you basically cheat it. It's a cheat code for me. You know what I mean? You make this kind of shit, you, you, you're basically cheating your way to the top for me. Um, I'm going to take a very short break. I'll be back very soon. Don't go anywhere. You know how it is. I just need a little reset time. Uh,